Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, we have something pretty awesome in this box here. I just got a 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro. So I'll add a timestamp so you can skip to when I actually get into the unboxing, but a bit of backstory on this. So basically, the Mac Pro is kind of not really doing so well. It takes a lot of power and I can't turn it off because turning it back on is a pain. And it's about time I upgrade my workstation anyway. I got this computer so I could have a nice, efficient, powerful system. And I believe this MacBook Pro actually beats the Mac Pro by 83% in multi-core Geekbench 4 benchmarks. So in my previous video, I talked about some things I got at the Surplus Store. And the reason I bring that up is because this was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but I went to the Surplus Store yesterday, so I wasn't actually home. And I taped one of the pre-signed things to the window of my front door. My dad was telling me on multiple occasions he's had UPS say no one answered the door, but he was actually home waiting for the package that day and the UPS truck just didn't even go by the house. So I believe that's what happened here. The package was supposed to be delivered on a Friday, but they said they would deliver it on Monday because nobody answered the door or whatever. But I tweeted at them and my dad emailed them and I just heard a knock at the door and the package arrived today. So anyway, that's kind of it for the rant and backstory of this computer. Now let's get into the unboxing. So it looks like here I have a little tab that I pull, and sorry for my hand cutting across the shot. And I covered my shipping and address information and stuff. So let's pan the camera up here and I'm just going to wiggle a mouse on my computer here so the backdrop stays there. And here we have a box saying MacBook Pro. You can barely see that. All right. So quite a nice little box here. This is going to look very good on my shelf. And sorry for the kind of grainy video. It's actually raining outside and the lighting in my room is not really the best right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and flip the box over and open this up. So while I open the box, I'm just going to quickly go over the specs here. This has the base CPU, so that's a 6-core, 2.2 gigahertz core i7. And I got 32 gigs of RAM, and I also got a 512 gig SSD. It also has the base video card, and I got the base processor and base video card just to keep down on the thermals because, as we all know, the MacBook Pros commonly fail from video card failure, and that's caused by overheating as far as I've heard. And I've done a lot of research, so the as far as I've heard is pretty accurate. But yeah, like I said, this has a 512 gig SSD and 32 gigs of RAM. And the reason I went with 32 gigs of RAM is because I don't feel 16 is enough for my main workstation. And if I had a 24 gig option, I would have totally gone for that. But 32 gigs was the next option up from 16, and so I just figured I would go with that for future proofing and everything. And then the 512 gig SSD, I just feel like 512 is a nice price to performance kind of ratio. 512 is what I have in my Mac Pro, and I kind of got the 512, like I said, because it's priced to performance, but I also don't really find myself needing a 1TB or a 2 or a 4TB SSD, because most of my storage is on my file server, not on the local machine. But 512 is nice for kind of like a scratch disk for editing and stuff like that, because, for example, when I'm editing and stuff, I usually edit on the local machine and then transfer the footage and data over to the server. And I'll commonly get lazy and I'll just have a folder on my desktop that I put everything in and then eventually I transfer that over to the server. But that folder gets pretty big because I put the footage and the exports in it when I'm editing and stuff. Because like I said, sometimes I'm lazy and I just don't transfer this stuff over. So my phone is warning me about low battery, so I'm going to go ahead and actually get into the unboxing. So let's go ahead and pull the box open here. This is uh, pretty exciting because this is the first actual new Mac I've owned. My reaction to this whole kind of situation is very plain because it's just kind of surreal for me. So we will pull that tab here. And just to kind of troll you guys, I'm going to save the MacBook Pro for last. So in the box here, we have a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C cable. I'm not actually sure if this is Thunderbolt 3. It might be. I know they use the same connector, but they're not backwards compatible. And then under here, we have just the little packet here. So let's go ahead and open that as I kind of hold it uncomfortably so you can see it. So if we open that, 
We have Apple stickers. That's literally the only reason anyone buys these anymore. And then we have uh, kind of warranty information, I think that is, or something, general information. And then here we have a quick start guide, it looks like. Hold that in frame so you can see everything. And yeah, also under that, of course, we have our power brick here. And I believe this is 87 watt, yeah. So yeah, 87 watt adapter, and this does not come with the kind of extension cord thing, but I have a ton of those laying around, especially because my older MagSafe chargers all have the frayed cable on the MagSafe end, but the plug part is totally fine. So I have probably three or four of those that I can replace that bit with. But I'm probably going to keep this there because this is actually going to be my portable charger and in a couple of videos from now I'll be unboxing an OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock and that's what's going to charge the computer when it's on my desktop setup. So now of course, like I said, we will be opening up the MacBook Pro. So I am going to carefully hold this. If I drop this, it's certainly going on the internet. Everybody loves peeling that. And I can't say I disagree. Anyway, so I'm going to set this down here. And it's a very nice computer. I actually love how the logo reflects. I'm actually going to take the phone off the tripod for a sec. So I didn't actually realize this. I believe that logo is actually reflective, like a mirror on the silver model. I really like that Apple. Nice kind of attention there. I do wish they still lit up, but that's kind of too much to ask now. So before I actually turn on the machine, I'm going to plug my phone in for a while because the battery is almost dead on it. And I'm also going to use that opportunity to kind of just charge the computer. So I plugged this into wall power and it made the iPhone kind of charge sound. I didn't know it did that. That's pretty interesting. So uh, yeah, TLDR, I don't really want to wait. So my iPhone cable actually reaches from where the MacBook Pro is on my desk to my phone. So it's getting charged as we record. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the machine. And the reason I haven't opened it yet is because I believe they auto start when you open them. And I wanted to get the first boot on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of pan up just a little bit here so you can just barely see the MacBook Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and lift the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and set this computer up and continue filming once that's all finished. So it's been about 24 hours since the last clip and I got the machine pretty much set up the way I want. I also installed some applications and got everything configured. And from there I just kind of started using the machine as my main system. So of course I didn't play any games on it and I didn't do any video editing on it yet. After buying an application called TG Pro that controls the fans, I actually realized this model isn't supported by that application, and when I contacted TG Pro, they actually told me in their next update there should be support for this computer, so I won't be doing any video editing on this computer until I can control the fans. Other than that, the speed of this machine is absolutely insane, I'm loving it already. The speakers on this I would say are the best speakers I've ever heard, and the display is absolutely gorgeous. You can see there, I took a picture that was 4K from online, and I cut out a 2880 by 1800 picture from that, and that is now my desktop background. Other than that, this machine actually gets a Wi-Fi signal from across the house. I believe I talked about this a little bit in the video about the 13-inch MacBook Pros. Basically, for a while, my air conditioning wasn't working, so I was staying in a room across the house. And that room is basically the farthest you can get from the router and none of my devices actually got a Wi-Fi signal over there. So our air conditioning is fixed, but I was testing the fan control and my brother was playing the piano, so I went into that room because it's soundproofed and I wanted to hear if the fans were revving up because I couldn't hear them. And when I went on TG Pro's website, I didn't realize right away, but the website actually loaded up right away. And of course that means I was getting a good Wi-Fi signal across the house. So anyway, the touch bar on this, I actually got used to that pretty quickly, so that's pretty cool. The keyboard on this I thought I would hate because I'm not a fan of low-key travel. 
but I would say this is probably one of the best keyboards I've used. I can type really fast on it because it doesn't require really any effort to press the keys down. I just tap them and they register as a click. And I joined a Discord call and my friends all complimented me on how good my mic sounded. And of course I was using the laptop's internal microphone. In about a month from now I'll be posting my one month update and I think I will have nothing but good things to say. So on that note, I think that's going to be it. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.